talking. All right, this week what I'm going to do is show you what I found out about how to play chords on the ukulele. I'm a guitarist and the great thing about ukulele is that you can just pick one of these things up and you can put your fingers down as if you're playing on the first four strings of a guitar. Now there is a little complication because when you uh, when you get to the fourth string you find it's an octave higher at least on on some of these things. So you got that that high that high fourth string. Now the thing is the notes are tuned different so when I put this chord down like that instead of playing a D chord it's something else. So that's the thing. How are we going to figure this thing out? And I, I think I have a system that you've, you'll find interesting. So stay tuned and uh, we'll take a look. So first of all what I want to do is just highlight three different chord shapes where we can where we can use these first three strings, strings one, two, and three, as the basis for creating our chords. So of course we're going to have to learn the notes and I'm going to show you how easy that is. Right? But first of all let me show you these shapes because you can create chords based on either strings one, two, and three. Now if you, if you have a root note right there, its third is going to be there and its fifth is going to be there. So that's the first shape. Now if you have you have a root note right there, its third is going to be here and its fifth is going to be here. Now we call these inversions but don't, you don't need to worry about that stuff. Just as long as you, you recognize that the note I'm showing you in, in each particular shape is the root note and that's the key to this. Now if I, if I have, um, let's say I have a root note over here, we're going to have this shape. So those three shapes are the ones that, uh, these are the major shapes. Um, if, you, if you just memorize those three basic shapes first of all. Now how do we know what the notes are on this ukulele? Well the interesting thing is when you play this instrument it's like you're playing a guitar with a, with a capo on the, on the fifth fret. So the notes ab above the fifth fret uh, you'll be playing exactly as, as they are on the guitar. Uh, if you don't know those that's a different story but it, it's actually quite easy. I'm going to show you. Now we take this first string note there and that is A. So that's A. B is on the second fret. I'm going to use my first finger and then I'm going to place the second finger on the third fret for the C. Then D is going to be a couple of frets higher on the fifth fret. So that's D. So A, B, C, D. So that's very convenient, easy to remember. The next note E is actually on the second string. So E, F is going to be on the first fret and G is going to be on the third fret. So if you can remember those that's a really good start. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now I know they're, they're in different octaves but don't worry about that because what we want to do is be able to build chords off of these notes. Let's use that now for playing Country Roads by John Denver which is, which is a, a nice song because it's got some, some fairly easy chords in it and it's just about the right amount of chords to get used to playing chords on a ukulele. So the first chord in Country Roads is G. If we take a look right now at what we did before going through the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We find G is on the third fret of the second string. Now using that system that we did before if we put down this, this shape which is what you might think of as the D shape on guitar then that gives us a G chord. And you, you can also let that fourth string come into it too. So there's our G. The next chord is an E minor. Now I didn't talk about minor shapes yet but let's, let's just find an E first. So A, B, C, D, E. 
So there, there's an E. So the shape which I showed you for a chord based on the second string was actually this one. So I guess if we went down to there, if that was an open string, you'd need to have, you need to have uh, a guitar to play that, that kind of chord. So we can't do that, so we need to go to another shape and we need to find an E on a different string. All right, so let's go now and take a look at the notes on the third string. The third string is actually C, all right? So we've got C. D is on the second fret. E is on the fourth fret. So that So that's the same that's the same note. So so now we're taking a look at a chord which is based on on the third string. And the chord that I showed you was this one. So that one would be will be that, but actually we need an E minor. So how you get a minor is you change the third. Instead of being a major third, you move it back one fret and there's a minor third like that. You can actually add another note there to that shape. Or you could, in this case, you can leave it open because that open string is actually the third of this of this chord here so you could do that or you could or you could do that so you're actually duplicating some of the notes so that's our E minor chord so what we've done is we've gone from our G and we can go to this one very easily now the next chord in country roads is actually a D so let's go again one A B C D the D shape that we could find there is that one so we got Da, 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 da. You could go to that one, but there's a there's a little bit easier one. D is actually down here. So C D E on that string. So we could have a chord based on that note, which would be like this. And that will be on the open string. Alright, so that's our now you could now you could put another another note right there, which would be something that you'd recognize, like an A chord in the in the uh, open position on a guitar. But in this case, since that note is D, then it's it's a D. There's another option to this one. Now, this one, if you know this kind of G shape, you know you're playing that one like that. If you play a G chord on a guitar which on uh, on this instrument is going to be is going to be actually a C you can move move that one up like that which is very convenient and and these bar chords are actually quite easy to do on a ukulele so that's that's another alternative which I kind of like so we got this How's that? That's our G, E minor, D, and then the next chord is going to be a C. So you're going from this one, and then we're going down to this one, where we can leave all the strings open, right? So, so this, in this case, what we've done here is we've gone like this. That's our D chord. So now we're going, we're going back to the C chord, which is like this, which is basically the same shape but using the open strings. So let's now go through all the chords. Go to this one for the D, bring it down for the C, Shenandoah River. So then we go back to the G. So now there is another verse, so there's no point going over that because it's the same chords that we just went over. The, the bridge part now goes into an E minor. So we already know that E minor is going to be this kind of shape. It's going to be that kind of shape. Now here we've got something different. We have an F chord. So let's think about where is the F. We've got A, B, C, D, E, F. So the chord that I showed you where the second string is the root note is this one. Now 
what we're actually doing is like this, where these two notes are going to be the open string. So, because that one's going to be F, right? And you can actually put down that note right there because you're actually duplicating the note that's on on the first string, but that, that will work anywhere along the fretboard. So that's, that's our F chord. Let's go through this uh, bridge part again. It goes from E minor, da, 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 G, C, G. Now we've got a D, or this one. Now we've got an E minor again. Da, da, There's the F chord, and then we got the G. Should have been home yesterday. And then we have a D7. So if you're familiar with guitar, you may know this one. We can play a D7 like that. So that's basically how you can play country roads using these chords. So if you click on the link down below that takes you to guitarbasement.com, there will be, uh, you can find this sheet with, uh, with the chords on it for country roads. So that's a great piece to be able to get to know this ukulele. And um, I hope you found that interesting. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already and you want to hear some more from me. I'd like to say, stay tuned and I'll see you soon. <laughs>